Hey fellow workers, my name is Kim Siever. Welcome back to my channel. Sometimes white people have a tough time wrapping their heads around the concept of white privilege, often equating privilege to financial advantage. But while financial advantage is definitely a thing, usually called class privilege, it's not the only type of privilege. For example, if you're white and living in a white dominated society like Canada or the United States, the first time someone sees you, they won't assume you'll have an accent. They won't assume you can't speak English. They won't assume you were born somewhere else or that your parents were born somewhere else. They won't assume that because you're white, you're a violent threat. They won't assume you have a criminal past. They won't assume that you're addicted to drugs or alcohol. They won't assume you're homeless. They won't assume you're about to ask them for change. They won't assume that because you're white, you'll damage their home if they rent to you. They won't assume that you won't be able to make your monthly payments. They won't assume you're unemployed. They won't assume you're about to steal something from their store. And this is the case if they haven't met you in person, but have seen your name, such as in a job application or rental application. If your name sounds white, like Susan Jones or Pat Smith, they won't assume you have a different background. And they'll make all the same assumptions I mentioned previously, that you can speak English, won't have an accent, were born here, have no criminal past, and so on. All this can be the case even if you grew up in a trailer park and your single parent worked three jobs to keep you fed and you had to wear hand-me-downs from your older siblings. While all these assumptions may not end up being directly direct financial advantages, like say having grown up in an upper class family would, they could still end up being advantages. You're more likely to get that job. You're more likely to get that rental. You're less likely to have the cops called on you. All of which can end up being financial benefits in the long run. Thanks for watching. Thanks to all these subscribers and Patreon patrons who make this video possible. Please visit my website at kimsiever.ca. You can also follow me on social media. Just search for Kim Seaver on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Tumblr, and LinkedIn. If you appreciate the videos I post here on YouTube, the news stories and opinion pieces I write on my news site, or the content I share on my other social media accounts, please become a monthly supporter at kimseaver.ca slash support. If you agree with the points I raised in this video, please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below why. Please share this video, subscribe to my channel, click on the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. Solidarity.